If you can relate to this, meaning you are brave enough to have a calathea, but you are still getting brown tips, tried everything but nothing works, maybe you are still searching for guides and you get no results, I made a rhyme there, did you catch it? Well, keep on watching this video because I am going to share with you not exactly the normal tips that you would find out there, it's just things that I find that work and I discovered them throughout many fails and experimentations. Let's suppose that you are doing everything right with this thing except the watering and the humidity. You are going to get brown tips if the humidity is really low, because calatheas are plants that really like humidity, or if you water inconsistently. And before I start with the tips and ways that I find that work, I want to debunk some myths, which are, first of all, misting will not benefit any plant, because it is just a moment in time. I mean, you can't just stand near your plant and mist it all the day. So that means that you're giving a little spark of humidity and then it disappears to nothing. And brown tips. And the second one, the second, not actually myth, maybe it works, I don't recommend it though, is the tray with the water and the pebbles below the pot. And I don't like this method because first, I don't think that it evaporates in any kind of fast way. And then it's a great magnet for mosquitoes. So if you don't want to accidentally become a breeder, of mosquitoes, then I advise you to move on from this method and listen to the rest of what I have to say. Let's start with the most common and popular solution of all, which is the humidifier near your plants. And this works because it is constant humidity around your plants in contrast with misting that only happens once or twice a day. I don't have a humidifier running in here and I will explain later why this is, but I still recommend this method because it's cost efficient, easy to do and it will work, again, if the watering of your calatheas is right. But if you, in the back of your mind, think that maybe your watering is not just right for your calathea, please don't panic. Don't be harsh to yourself, don't judge, everything is normal, everything is okay. There comes the second solution that I would actually recommend to everyone, which is anything that it is kind of self-watering, meaning lekas, self-watering pots, anything that kind of drives water all the time up. Because if you have a normal pot, well, the water will go away, evaporate, and then if you are late just for a second, your calathea, the drama queen, will get brown tips. Now, this one has some brown tips here and there. These are old leaves. If you see the new growth that we get since I made this hideous, ugly, self-watering system, it's okay, new growth everywhere, no brown tips, it is working like a charm, like it should be. A bonus small tip would be to group all the plants together, they drive moisture from each other and they live happily ever after. And let's move on to the more important tip, which is maybe consider if you have the space and the magic inside your heart to grow the calatheas in open or closed terrariums. Closed terrariums, if you do them right, will have your calatheas thriving in no time, no brown tips, huge growth. It's my favorite, best way of growing calatheas. Never had a problem this way. It's fail-proof. Non-green thumb-proof. Plant parent killer-proof. Killer -proof. It works. And that's what should stick in your mind. Terrariums and calatheas, paludariums, ripariums. I am not sure about aquariums. Maybe you could actually put a calathea. I am going to do this. 
you could put a calathea driving the water from the aquarium up outside of the aquarium and it will filter the water for your fish and thrive as well because no problem with brown tips. But maybe you don't want to do what I just said, you don't want to experiment with planting the calatheas directly in aquariums. But the last tip that I say that works is having your calatheas in a room with aquariums. And this works great in contrast to the pebble water tray below the pot. Aquariums work great because they have flow, so mosquitoes are kind of hard to go in there. They have living things inside them most of the times. This one has shrimps. I don't know if you care, but that's an info. And the most secret weapon of all. If you have an aquarium with heater, the water will evaporate much faster. So if it is winter, for example, the water in the tray won't evaporate. If you have an aquarium with a heater, it will do.